I think that these are amongst the most perfect and inventive of all of Liszt's works for piano. The Année de Pèlerinage by Liszt are his travel diary from when he spent 10 years of his life travelling around Europe as a concert pianist and they record his impressions and sketches of sights, sounds that he saw and things that he noticed as being special. I can't think of a pianist alive today who um, is more intimately acquainted with the music of Liszt than Leslie Howard. And Leslie Howard has put together this wonderful new edition Peter Zurtext of the Anne de Pellerinage. And in it we'll find not just the notes, but the title pages from the first prints which were kind of important because Liszt didn't just want the notes to be released, he wanted artworks, he wanted the poetry that inspired him and the prose that inspired him to be viewed and understood by the pianist. So um, this recreation of what was to Liszt, I think, a fairly immersive art form sort of comes to life in this new edition. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Of all the music that I've played by Liszt, I think the Anne de Pellerinage is probably the music that's closest to my heart. From my earliest childhood, um, some of the music that spoke to me um, more than any other was um, the works of Liszt and Schubert, who I consider to be artistic brothers. And both of them wrote music that simply sparkles and shines like very fine jewellery. And um, I think the first piece that I learnt from this collection was Au Bord d'un Source because I just love what he does with the sound of the piano in the high treble and it's sort of disembodied and, and floats and just delights the ear. Um, and, and I love it. So that was my introduction to this collection of pieces and eventually I learnt and have performed all three books. For me, this music um, stands very much in the centre of 19th century piano music. Not actually the centre of 19th century music full stop, 